Back to other stuff, hopefully. Hello, Jesus. Hello, random box you solve with levers. S star, hearts, eagle, boxes. It's the flight of the initiate, the complex of the initiate, the rub of the initiate, the faith of the initiate, guidance of the initiate, heart of the initiate. What do they do? Nothing. Now they're all red. Yellow. Yellow. White. Blue. Shit. They just all change colors. So I need to have like an answer, right? Of which ones are supposed to be which? Somehow. Wait, is it red, white, red? Is it that simple? It can't be that white, uh, that simple, can it? Red, white, red. Blue, yellow, blue. Red, white, red, red, white, red. Blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, blue. Do I pull it again? No. Okay. A chest key. I can't use that here because this is not interactive. It just opens when you solve the puzzle. Guidance, heart, flight, complex, robe, faith. Oh, is it just based on the picture? So, robe is red. Art is white. Faith is yellow. Ah, Jesus. I guess everything else is already right. That startled me a little bit. I was not ready for it to be ready. So flight is blue. Which part is flight? Just the stuff behind him? Is that why it's flight? Because it's behind him, I guess? I don't get why that's blue. Complex is red? Why is complex red? What's complex even refer to? Hard, I get. Guidance is blue. I don't get that either. I don't know. All I see is heart, robe, and faith. Maybe those are the ones that matter? I made them match the picture, and I got a thing. What did I get? A section of a map. Okay. Do we care about this wood? No? Sure, why not? I'll take it. I'll take it. Another statue for me. Nathan, this may be, it's may be, not maybe. You gotta, you gotta put a space there. This may be the last note I leave for you. For our next communication, we have, we have will be in person. What? Come find me once you have completed your trial. I will give you the information you need. Come. Be free in soul and mind, for he is returning, and we shall give him our whole. He will be free once more. I wonder if anyone's told them about the typos yet. Typos or errors or whatever. Because they're really, really frequent. Like, weirdly frequent. Like, this is a paid product. It's like $15, $20, I want to say. Just, I just find it odd how 
They're still there. This game's been out for a few months. And the creepy text is all there. So I've got another wooden doll. So I've made some progress there. And now I don't have to worry about whatever's going on with that. I'm done, I'm done with the weird grid of lights that was in the corner. There we go. There we go. Fifth time's a charm, as they always say, for getting out of a hole. I need to find... I guess I just gotta check the entire house for any... Ah, oh crap. For any paintings that I can pick up and rotate. Because I need to find... The other two flags... Words... Colors... Home sweet home. Rush is blue. Welp. <laughs> I just turn right around and find out which one Russia is. So apparently, apparently that's Russia. And also, apparently I didn't. Apparently I don't know the flag for Russia. So that's an interesting thing to learn about myself. That's Germany. That's the Russian flag, huh? Okay. So you are some color. There we go. <laughs> you don't need to know the fourth one if you know the rest. Uh, it's empty. Oh, so you found a map piece. There's more to find, you know. There's more to find, you know. I already have another map piece, dude. You know that? It's not my first map piece, you dummy. Let's see. Let's try to put the statue away and then put the map piece away. If I can reorient myself as to where I am. Uh, we're in the basement part. Or the first floor. There we go. Our current statue is the one on the horse? That guy. Yep. Uh, one remaining. How do you tell which one of those is the correct guy on a horse? They both look like a guy on a horse, or that one might be a person with a woman with a dress, or it might be a guy on a horse. It's actually really hard to tell. But I think it's the, the head shape tells you that that's the correct one for that spot. I still gotta figure out where that statue is so I can get whatever's inside here. At this point, since we're getting the pieces of map, I, I would guess that it probably is going to be a piece of map inside of that. Maybe the third one? Is there a third one? Maybe two is enough. Uh, getting all turned around. This guy? There we go. Is this where the map? No. Oh, there might be like four pieces of map. Okay. Fix me, it says. But how do I do this puzzle? The light, so we now know, we now know that those are the three stage lights that you turn on and off as you solve the puzzle. Let's see if I can bring back my information. Oh wait, I can't... I can't do that puzzle yet because I need to find the third piece. Part three is the upstairs hall or question mark. Thanks. Why would it be or question mark? I still don't get that. It's one thing to just have a question mark, but why say it's here or maybe somewhere else? I don't know. That's like, that's... What? <laughs> what is the implication of suggesting the first place if not to say that it has to be there? The piano moved back. That's kind of unnerving. So we have a chest key. Oh, chest key would go upstairs. There's that weird chest I got at like the beginning of the game. That's in like, it's upstairs somewhere. I think it's right here. Statue, map section. Another one 
down. You're getting closer. Three is apparently enough. Okay. Sure. Get that saving done. Oh, that opened this guy. It gives me a statue. Okay, I thought the statues would give me the maps, but instead the maps gave me the statues. Uh, okay. <laughs> It turned around a lot in this house, now that it loops on itself. This place, house is massive. I don't even know what to do with a house this big. You'd have to have a family to even justify its existence. Lost, confused, unknowing of the true rulers of this world. You found the knots. Those ones from Johansson. Well, I'm Johansson. I did introduce myself as Jay. I thought you would have figured that out by now. Did he introduce himself as Jay? I, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I, uh... Honestly just didn't catch that. I don't remember him saying that. Uh, so he's Johansson. So, so all the notes are from him. And it's, so they're his panicked notes from back when he was here. And so he did become converted into the organization, apparently, and he's all manic and, and irritating and stuff. What does that mean? Like, how quickly did he transition from doing this test to converting to running the test? Because, like, surely someone else would have been thrown here and in here who's failed the test, right? Because there's, like, explosions happening all the time. I just feel like in, if, if in the time scale, you, I feel like somebody else would have gone in here and gotten blown up or something. I don't know. Anyway, Voyage of Captain Weller, Part 3. Got my notes ready so I can update them. With stocks full, we set sail once more. We would sail along the coast southwards for two days. So, S2. I think we're lost. My compass began to spin out of control. I think we've navigated west back into the grave of forgotten ships. Here we... Okay, so... west to the grave of forgotten ships and we spotted a small island to the south where we traveled to its southwest uh, most banks south to south of island southwest of island it was here we steered into another small island to the east So east to island. Once we hit the eastmost part of the island, we found our bearing once more. From here, the wind blew us north a day. So N1. And then east. This is where we found it, the lost gold city of Atlantis. Our ordeal is over. We can now rest. In a life of luxury. We shall not want for anything ever again. We were wrong. It just says east. North for a day, then east. Maybe for a day? Who knows? We got all the statues. The sound these cameras make is like out of control. Okay. Walkie talkie, hammer, lighter. Those are duplicate items. A lot of these are utility items. So I'm actually running out of loose ends for inventory items, which means we, we might be running out of game? I think we're almost- we might be almost done. This map actually might be like close to the ending, if not the ending. Oopsie. Oh, I double clicked a little bit. Alright, map, how do you work? So first is west one. South four. East four. That's part one, all right. East one. North two. East one. North one. East one. North one, east two. East one. North two. East one, north one. East one, north one, east two. Okay, apparently, I need to review that note. A 
We lost many of our crew, but at the next dock we found new personnel without any problems. So we set sail once more, heading east. So one day east, two days north. East for a day. The grave of forgotten ships, which I need to remember for... Let's see, that's the grave. Just writing, putting a G next to that east one direction to indicate that's where the grave is, because that's that's indicated as a location they apparently found their way back to in the phase three. Then after that, it's a uh, childorama going one north, followed by one day east, one day north, and two days east to find land once more. One north, one east, one north, two east. One north, one east, one north, two east. That's what I wrote. Then we found... Then we threw anchor at the northwestmost coast of what I be believe to be Monster Island. Northwestmost coast is there, right? Is that it? Something's going wrong here. Okay, so th we start here from the previous round. East, north, east, north, east, north, east. Like that's the problem is that that's not the, even the shore, but that's definitely what the directions say. What? Why? That's correct. Tick tock, tick tock. So east one, north two, east one, north two, east two. Not what it said though. One day north by one day east. One day north, two days east. That's... That's not... The correct answer doesn't... Feel free to correct me in the comments if you see something I'm missing, but I've, it seems like I'm like explicitly... Explicitly... The two don't match. What? Okay, whatever. Phase three. South two. Shit. South two. West to the grave, which is there. South to... See, this, this was the grave, I believe. So it was when I went east one. Yeah. So this is the grave, so we're just assuming we went there already. So I'm back where I was before. Um, south to south west of an island. So that island? Like here, I guess? East to an island. North one, east. Why? This, it went south this... Okay, let's... Turn this stuff off again. I think we navigated west back to the grave of forgotten ships. Here we spot a small island to the south, where we traveled to its southwestmost banks. We steered to another small island to the east. The southwestmost banks of an island. Well, that's the north bank. I'm assuming north is up, otherwise this whole thing wouldn't work until now. So the southwestmost bank of this island is here. We go there. 
or something than here. Small end of these. Once we hit the, hit the east, we had the eastmost part of the island. We found our bearing once more. Wind blew us north a day. North a day, then east. So from here, they went north, then east. Oh. Small island to the east, then we hit the eastmost part of the island, which would be the opposite side of the island, so it goes this way. There we go. Oh my. You have passed your trial. So, the time for you to decide is nigh. Your choices? One, to use the key on the front door. This will show your allegiance by accepting our offer. The second option is just as elegant. Take that weapon and kill yourself. You really think we would let you live to tell tales? <laughs> How foolish you are. So tell me, what's it going to be? Well, these guys are assholes, aren't they? Oh, the save doesn't work anymore. It's broken. Wait, what? I can see the... the grid puzzle outside the window. But that's supposed to be underground. But I can see it out the window. I don't think you're supposed to be able to see it through the window. But that's the puzzle I did earlier. Huh. So your answer is to go out the front door or kill yourself. Can I go out the front door and then, you know, the moment I get a chance to make a break for it? What the hell's going on with these people? That's some hot bullshit, isn't it? They're all like, oh, no one's ever, no one's ever declined our offer. By the way, uh, our offer is, uh, join us or shoot yourself in the head. What a great choice. Great. Well, I went through all this work to not shoot my- to not die, so at this point, the decision was kind of made for- for me. Yes, that's another one who has failed. Ugh. Oh well, never mind. Bring in the next one! You weren't supposed to shoot yourself, you idiot. <laughs> I'm all being proactive, trying to find the third ending, where I, like, grab the key to leave, but also take the gun, and if they try to stop me, I shoot them with a the gun. Which should be... valid, but instead he immediately shot himself outside of my control. I'm like, thanks, buddy. Thanks for your suicide. Why did you do that? <laughs> Our protagonist is not a, the brightest man, apparently. At least try to not give them exactly what they want. Alright, well, that was the initiate. I guess I shot myself. Maybe it'll let me load my save? I'll show the other ending if I can. Take this. It's your next destination. We will be in touch soon. What is happening there? Is there an ARG? I think there might be an ARG. If you like this game, please leave a review. It helps us continue to make games. Load. Let's see where it puts me when I load. So as my feedback for this game, it's, uh... It started better than it got. I feel like the moment I got to the cave, everything past that point was, like, less good. In particular, because they kind of loop on their same ideas a lot. Uh, the idea of, like, find thing, find where thing goes, kind of loops on itself over and over again for, the, for a big chunk of the playthrough. But also, in the later parts of the game, they do these really, like, they, do, they start doing one-off puzzles. So, like, instead of being a thing where you're doing these escape room moves, you're instead just presented with a puzzle out of nowhere that you've never seen before, and then you just solve it on the spot, and then it never never comes up again, which is, like, kind of against the structure of what the game was going for until then. Like, that stupid room where there's an X with lights on it, and you just flip levers till you're done, and that's it. 
and little things like that. In particular, I was not a f in particular I'm not a fan of the uh, that thing right there where they want you to uh, oh, where they want you to do a time limit inputs. Also, this isn't great. How like they <laughs> they. <laughs> This is pretty not great, how they made a freaking hole in the ground that your character struggles to get out of. They should probably consider dealing with how the character moves, generally. Alright, so I have to do this again, don't I? Okay, so... Right? No? West 1, south 4, east 4. There we go. I have to redo it, apparently. East, north, east. We learned the hard way that it's this, apparently. Congratulations! Oh my, you have passed your trial. So, the time for you to decide is nigh. Your choices? One to use the key on the front door. This will show your allegiance by accepting our offer. The second option is just as elegant. Take that weapon and kill yourself. You really think we would let you live to tell tales? <laughs> How foolish you are. So tell me, what's it going to be? I'm only doing this because you will li are literally forcing me to. Because, yeah, after all this work, I'm just like, oh, I guess I'll just die and give up. But, uh, yeah, I can still fight them. Unless they have, like, a mind control juice they can just inject you with or something. I'm really mad your character will not take the gun with them. And then have, like, a third ending where they're a badass. But no, fine. It's just this entire... The entire concept of an escape room is about problem solving and dealing with the fact that... Uh, dealing with the sense of being trapped, like, you don't have options and... Using whatever tools at your disposal to solve the problem, but no, let's not find a way to pocket the gun and then go out the door and then use that to secure our freedom. Why would anyone think that? And why would a player who solved this game be conditioned to try to come up with that kind of solution? Whatever. I can still go back and get the gun. <laughs> I think I can. Pretty sure I'd shoot myself though. What? Are you telling me that we weren't in a society the whole time? We were actually in a weird nightmare cave? Crazy, except for back there there was a house that was outside. Oh, I shall let them know. You have done very well. I had my doubts, but you have passed. And this is the main thing. Now, exit this game and go back to the real world. Take the knowledge of game you tonight and go home. All right, well, that was the initiate. It started all right. It had promise, I thought, but I think that it kind of... I think it fumbled as the game went on. In particular, like, just delete that whole cave part. What is that? You don't solve a puzzle, you just walk forward a lot and flip levers and get stuck on geometry and then look at the environment being broken. I'm just so confused by that part. Also, are you gonna tell me that every single one of those houses has this impossible cave under it? Like, every single one of them has its own cave? Take this. Like, I can kind of it's believe the idea... I can kind of believe that, like, somehow you've set up these crazy houses, like, so many of them across some, like, weird housing development that you've apparently kidnapped, but, like, every single house has an identical cave? How is it even possible when, like, like, there was no other entrances or exits. Also, did you script that cave-in to happen when I go into it? So, you're going to use each house once, even though you used that house before, because the other guy went before me, because he's the one talking to me that went into it before? And his notes are still around for whatever reason? And... But, like, the cave is so big that it couldn't be in other houses, even though you see that other houses are supposedly right over there. Unless they're not actually doing other trials, and that's just a, a singular fake demo house in that one direction, or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the, uh... The context and story and everything's kind of like a weird mess, and the second half of the game was iffy. But in, in general, the puzzles, too, are just like... They start off neat, but then they... Instead of iterating with cooler escape roomy style puzzles, they kind of just start doing... 
uh, either compounding the previous puzzle type of like getting like six objects from around the world and putting them somewhere, uh, or they start doing these little encapsulated puzzles that just are kind of nothing puzzles, like the flipping levers to make dots, make, make lights change and stuff like that. So it's not great, but I don't regret playing it, but the, it just, yeah. I had, I had higher hopes, is what I'll say. Thanks for watching like always guys, and we'll play another puzzle game or adventure game tomorrow.